Hello everyone, welcome back. In today's video, I have got 10 fantastic affordable makeup dupes for high-end products. And with some of these, I actually prefer the affordable version over the high-end product. I'm well aware that a lot of people really enjoy dupes videos. I don't do them all that often simply because I am extremely picky when it comes to the dupes that I show you. I want them to be as close to the higher end product as possible. I of course want the shade to be nearly identical, but I also want them to perform similarly. I want them to have the same amount of longevity on the face. And another reason why it often takes me longer to put one of these videos together is because I do my best to find dupes that you have not seen before. Now that said, I cannot guarantee that you have never seen any of these dupes before. In fact, one of the dupes I'll be showing you in this video was not my finding. I did not find this dupe. I actually saw it on another content creator's page. And I have to tell you, I was just so shocked at what a perfect dupe this was. So when I get to that palette, it's an eyeshadow palette, I will tag that content creator who also does have a YouTube channel in a caption on the screen, as well as down below in the description box where I will have links to all of the products mentioned, both the affordable version and the high end. So I think I'm going to start with the lip products. I love dupes for lip products, especially really popular lip products. So let me start with one of my favorite dupes of the 10 dupes I'll be showing you. Oh, before I get started, I almost forgot to mention that I am wearing the high-end products on one side of my face and the dupes on the other side. Now, I just did this and this, but that doesn't mean that this side of my face is the high-end and this side of my face is the dupes. Like in my last videos or my past videos, I want you to guess which side is which. And I will tell you at the end of the video, but I don't want you to cheat. I want you to look at me and see if you can tell any difference between the two sides and which side, if you can tell a difference, you think is the drugstore and which side is the high end. Okay, let's get back to the dupes. This Makeup Forever lip liner, this artist pencil in the shade Wherever Walnut is so popular over on TikTok and on Instagram. So many influencers and makeup artists are using this lip liner because it is truly one of the most perfect brownish nudes and nearly identical dupe in both performance and wear is the Revlon Colorstay Lip Liner in the shade Nude. So there they are side by side. Now, the Makeup Forever is a traditional pencil that you sharpen, while the Revlon is a twist up. But I find they both glide on very easily. There's no skipping, there's no tugging, and they both last all day long and go with so many different lip colors. This is the shade of pencil that you want to carry in your everyday makeup bag because not only can you use it to line your lips when you're wearing lipstick or gloss, you can also wear this on its own. You can fill in the entire lip and have a really beautiful your lips but better color throughout the whole day. I honestly cannot believe that I have not seen anyone else talk about this dupe. And another ultra popular lip liner with influencers and makeup artists is this one from Patrick Ta, and the shade is She's Strong. Now look at this side by side with the dupe. I was blown away at how close these colors are. This is the LA Girl Shockwave Nude Lip Liner in Maple Glaze. And I've gotta tell you, I actually prefer the LA Girl. It is so creamy, it is so easy to use, while the Patrick Ta is a little bit drier. I've always said this about the Patrick Ta lip pencils. I am not a huge fan of the click up angled lip liner system. I know he does it for a reason. He says it's easier to get the outline of the upper lip, the cupid's bow, and to overline a little bit down at the bottom. I don't know, it's just a personal preference. Obviously, a lot of people love these Patrick Ta liners. But if you want this type of shade, this kind of nude brown, especially if you have dark skin, I would save your money and get this one from LA Girl. You will not regret it. 
Another Patrick Ta product that's extremely popular are his liquid lipsticks. And this is the shade She's Independent. This is a really beautiful deep nude, but it can be sheared out to work on fair and light skins. But if you don't wanna spend the money on this Patrick Ta, Go pick up this Essence 8 Hour Stay Matte Liquid Lipstick in the shade Hello Sunrise. So here's a closer look of both lip colors and lip liners in natural light. On one of my lips, I'm wearing the Essence with the Revlon pencil, and then the top lip or the bottom lip, I'm not going to tell you yet, is the Patrick Ta with the Wherever Walnut. I wanted to show you that because obviously it's a good visual for you to see how identical they are, but I also went and applied a lip gloss afterwards. I have it on now, so just looking at me right now, you wouldn't be able to tell how close they are. So that's why I inserted that footage. I think it clearly shows that these are fantastic, nearly spot on dupes. And for the gloss, these are just slightly different, but I thought they were close enough to call them a dupe. This is the Charlotte Tilbury Lip Luster in the shade Blondie. And this is the Hard Candy Gloss Topia Gloss in the shade, what was the shade? In Opal Tease. This is another instance where I actually prefer the dupe over high end. Blondie is a tad peachier than the Hard Candy, but the Hard Candy Gloss goes on so much nicer and it just feels nicer on the lips, but it's just as shiny as the Charlotte Tilbury, if not shinier. And as you can see, the combo is the perfect glossy nude. Okay, now I have three incredible blush dupes to share with you. First up is the best dupe ever for the Rare Beauty Soft Pinch Liquid Blush in the uber popular shade Happy. I discovered this by accident. It's from Amazon. It is from Lacrain Beauty. I used this in a top Amazon beauty products video and I was just so, so impressed with this. And just like with some of the others, I prefer this to the Rare Beauty. And the reason is because I find that the Rare Beauty, while it's great that it's so pigmented, it is so, so pigmented that it can easily go wrong. You do one too many dots with this product and you are blending and blending and blending for several minutes and more often than not, you still have way too much blush on and it's not that easy to tone down. So what I'm saying is it's not all that user friendly. This one is extremely user friendly. You do the same one or two dots but you're not blending for a full five minutes, but you're still getting that beautiful baby pink cheek color that's going to last just as long as the Rare Beauty. MAC Peaches Blush has been one of my all time favorites for years, several years. It is the most beautiful peach that looks amazing on fair to light skin tones. I've never used this on a deeper skin tone, so I can't say how it would work on medium to deep skin tones, but if you're fair to light skin and maybe even light to medium, you have probably tried peaches or peaches, if you haven't tried it, would look amazing on you. But if you don't want to spend $29 plus tax on a blush, I suggest this one from Flower Beauty. It is called Peach Primrose. They are both simply stunning matte peach blushes. The pigmentation is very, very similar. The color, I would say, is as close to identical as you can get. And again, the wear time of both of these blushes was all day long, at least on me. Okay, the final blush in this video is definitely one that would look amazing on medium to dark skin. Also, fair to light skin can wear. You just have to use a light hand. This is the Bobbi Brown blush in the shade Apricot. Now, I do not know why they call this apricot because to me, it looks like a bright baby pink. So I don't know who named this, but apricot is not what I would have named it. But anyway, the color is still absolutely stunning. If you're a blush girly like me, you like a bright pink cheek. Not so bright that it looks clownish, but I think you know what I mean. This Bobbi Brown apricot shade gives you that look, that Justin from the cold or Barbie pink look. But you can get that look for a lot less with this blush from Revlon. This is called Pink Cognito. Now in the pan, it does look like Pink Cognito has a little bit 
of sparkle to it, but I promise you that does not show up on the skin. When I have put these two side by side, I could not tell the difference as far as one looking sparkly and one looking matte. They both look matte when placed on the skin. And this one is just as pigmented as this one. Now when they're swatched, the Bobbi Brown to me does look a hair brighter, but just a hair, which might make this one more user friendly, again, because of that extreme pigmentation. And then also if you have very fair skin and this one scares you a little bit, I would try this one as it is just a hair less bright. Up next is another dupe that I'm really proud of myself for finding. I hope this hasn't been shown anywhere else before, but I found a dupe for the Charlotte Tilbury highlighter in the shade Moonlit Glow. When I tell you this one from Maybelline is identical, I mean it's identical. They look the same on the skin. They are the same shade, they have the same amount of shimmer. Oh, by the way, this is shade 250. Once again, I will have all of these products listed and linked in the description box of this video so you don't have to write anything down. Okay, several months ago, if you had been watching my videos, you probably heard me mention this primer from Kali Ray over and over and over again because I was absolutely obsessed with it. It is so good at blurring my large pores it helps to control shine. This is called the So Blown Blurring Primer. Yes, So Blown Clean Blurring Primer. And the texture of this is like a light gel cream. It sinks right into the skin, and as you apply it to your face, to your bare face over moisturizer and or sunscreen, you are going to notice your pores just poof. They are gone. But I get it, not everyone wants to spend $36 on a primer, and you don't have to. I get that same ultra blurring effect from this Thank Me Later face primer from Elizabeth Mott. This one is less liquidy and more moussey, but it does such a beautiful job, again, of just making those pores seem to disappear, and the effect is very, very long lasting. The last time I checked, this primer was only around $12. All right, I have saved one of the best for last. Remember in the intro, I mentioned that I had discovered a dupe, well, I didn't discover it. I came across a dupe from another content creator. Her name is Jen Phelps. Jen Phelps Beauty is the name of her channel. Wait a second, I hope that's right. Okay, I was wrong, it's just Jen Phelps. I think on Instagram it's Jen Phelps Beauty. But anyway, she does a lot of dupes videos. I can't say that I always watch them because honestly, I don't like to watch other people's dupes videos. I just like to sit down with all of my makeup and try to discover dupes on my own. But this one was too good not to share. If you love, like I do, the Sigma Cor de Rosa eyeshadow palette, look how beautiful, but you don't want to spend the money on this, which I think is about $45. Nope, I'm wrong again. This retails for $52. You can get the exact same look for a lot less by using this ColourPop Sweet Talk eyeshadow palette. When I saw this image on Jen's Instagram page of the two palettes swatched side by side, my jaw dropped. I said, it can't be. They can't be that close. It is so rare that I find an eyeshadow palette that is truly a dupe of another one, unless it's one of those sort of copycat brands that their whole goal is to replicate or duplicate a high-end product. I don't think that was the intention with this one. It just so happens that there are so many colors in this palette that are nearly identical. Now you do have more shades in this palette and it does come with a brush. And obviously this one also comes with a mirror, but let's be honest, who really uses all 14 shades in a palette like this? You probably won't even use all the shades in this palette either, but I was able to create the same look on both eyes using two different palettes. This one on one eye and this one on the other eye. I just could not believe how, I cannot believe how identical they look. And the formula of ColourPop is honestly one of my favorites. Now is every shade in every palette a 10 out of 10? No, but I find that to be true 
no matter what price the eyeshadow palette is. I have tried eyeshadow palettes that are $50, $60, $100, where there's a couple of duds in there. They just don't perform like the others or like a palette of that price should. But with this one, you're only spending $18, and let me tell you, it's worth every penny. Now, let's talk about which side of my face is which. Well, I accidentally did gesture appropriately at the beginning of this video because this is the high-end side and this is the affordable side. And then my top lip is the luxury combo and my bottom lip is the drugstore combo. So as always, I really hope you enjoyed seeing these drugstore dupes or affordable dupes for high-end makeup. If you did, please give the video a thumbs up. I really, really appreciate that. And if you're not already subscribed to my channel, I hope that you will consider hitting that subscribe button and joining the Risa Does Makeup family. I do upload new videos at least twice per week. You can also find more content from me over on TikTok and Facebook and Instagram. My username is the same everywhere. It's Risa Does Makeup. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope to see you in my next video.